You're very welcome to Timaho, Ireland's Ancient East. You can see the sign here. We're on the Ireland's Ancient East Board Falcha approved uh, tourism region. And beside us here, you can also see the one, the famine soup bowl, which commemorates the 175th anniversary of the potato famine. This soup bowl here would have fed the local people during the pandemic 175 years ago. And we have it nicely decorated here this year to commemorate those that died during the Great Hunger. The local people here would have went to workhouses in Atai, uh, Castlecomer and Abbey Leaks. And fever is the one thing that, that perished a lot of people in Leash rather than actual hunger. It was the fever uh, who, who really, really got them. So I think it's a little bit um, ironic or a little bit sacred that, we, that, that in the year that we're having this year that we commemorate something of, of this nature. So follow me and we'll go into the Timahoe Heritage Centre and we'll show you a little bit more of the wonderful heritage of Timahoe Leash in Ireland. You're very welcome inside the Timahoe Heritage Centre, opened in 2014. This centre is dedicated to St. Makua, the early Christian monks of County Leash and all that the, the exhibition has in connection with the Round Tower. So follow me and we'll find some more information on St. Makua, the legend of St. Makua and the practices of these early Irish Christian monks. So St. Makua was a layman, he was a non-religious, uh, he was inspired by St. Patrick, he came from Ochranry in, in County Sligo, a, a big diocese, and he made his way to Timaho in the early part of the 6th century. Inspired by St. Patrick, he set up a, a, a little monastery here with a view of spreading the word of Christianity. He brought with him three pets, his rooster, his fly and his mouse, and the rooster would wake him in the morning to read his matins, and the fly would hop gracefully along the page and mark the spot. And if at such time he ever fell asleep, the mouse would come forth and nip him on the ear. And that's a legend that's about 1,500 years old, so who am I to contradict it? St. Makua's Christian settlement thrived here up until the 16th century. In the 11th century, these Augustinian canon regular monks came from Europe, came from the continent. And these Augustinian canon regulars changed the whole face of the monastery here in Timaho as we presently know it. They built a wonderful round tower, the round tower that's considered by most experts as to be the finest in Ireland. The round tower with its Hiberna Romanesque style carving in the, in the doors, its intricate style of carving which is unique to this area. This reproduction of a high cross is what we believe would have been on the site here in Timahoe during the time of the Augustinian Canyon regulars. These high crosses were an important tool for the monks to showcase and educate the lay people of the, 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 the ways of the Christian religion. They would in, take little carvings on the shaft of the cross to explain biblical scenes. This audiovisual presentation is seven minutes long and it showcases everything good about that period of Irish history. Least like every other county has a, an abundance of stories dedicated to the old monks from St. Fintan to, in, in, in Clonina to St. Makua here in Timahoe or St. Coleman in Oakvale. Again, as a part of the Ireland's Ancient East heritage, we're glad to have this on display here in seven different languages for all our visitors to come and see. Here we have a small sample of herbs and certain flowers that the monks would have used for medicinal reasons down through the centuries. Uh, the one that stands to mind is the marigold, which is good for your skin. And the other one would be wild garlic, which is also used for, for feeding purposes. It's edible. The monks were, were far ahead of of time, as we, when we now look back and, and, and research it, they were far ahead of everybody, they were very in touch with nature and we owe a, a, a lot uh, to the monks, these early Irish Christian monks. In the backdrop here you can see the wonderful round tower of Timaho, standing at 96 feet tall, 57 feet in circumference, with its very ornate Hiberno Romanesque style doorway as I said. This is a, a wonderful piece of art, commissioned by the local national school in 2005 to commemorate the three pets of St. Makua, the rooster, the fly and the mouse. The piece of work itself was designed and sculpted by, uh, by Michael Burke from Ballyfin and the stone was kindly donated by local stone company McKeown Stone in Stradbally. Uh, in one of the annals of, it is recorded that St. Makua wrote to St. Colum Kiel in Iona and he wrote that he was distraught once his three pets had passed away 
And St. Column Kill wrote back to him and he said, Marvel not, my friend, so misfortune always awaits the world.